Hello everyone. I'm so much excited to see you here for this Python programming course. This course is going to be completely free. All I need from you is if you find these videos useful to you, please do like the videos, write a comment and share it with your friends. This will help the videos reach larger audience and it will motivate me to make more courses like this. Now first let's answer a very important question. Why do we need to learn Python? You might have heard that Python is one of the most easiest programming languages to learn. But is it a good enough reason for us to spend our time learning Python? No, it is not. But the main advantage of Python is the amount of diversity it offers. It is extensively used across multiple domains of software engineering. Firstly, the very popular AI ML domain. Many of you might already know that Python is the most preferred language to build AI models and applications. It is because Python offers powerful libraries and frameworks like scikit-learn, PyTorch, TensorFlow, NumPy, Pandas and so many others using which we can build AI applications very easily. So if you want to get into the domain of artificial intelligence, learning Python is essential for you. Not only for building AI ML applications, Python is also extensively used for software development. There are some popular frameworks available in Python like Django, Flask, etc. using which we can even build large scale web applications. And in fact, most backends for AI applications are built using Python. And then Python is also widely used in domains like QA and DevOps. QA is the short form for quality assurance, which is also called software testing. Now in QA, many of the popular test automation tools and frameworks like PyTest, Selenium, Playwright, etc. All of these support Python language. So if you are a QA engineer, you can build robust test automation frameworks using Python. And even in DevOps, Python scripts are extensively used for automating different tasks like infrastructure deployment, configuration management, and also while building CI-CD pipelines. Now, last but not the least, you can even practice data structures and algorithms using Python. Data structures algorithms is popularly known as DSA. And some of you might already know that if you want to get a job in top product based companies, you have to go through rigorous DSA rounds. Also, in general, C++ and Java are more popular choices than Python to solve DSA problems. But most of the top product based companies, they don't care about which programming language you choose. It's all about testing your problem solving approach and your ability to come up with optimized solutions in limited time window. So you can confidently pick Python as well for solving DSA problems. Also, as Python is much easier to learn than C++ and Java, you can get started with DSA much faster if you use Python. But that being said, it all boils down to your personal preference. Try out different programming languages and you can pick whatever you're comfortable with. So irrespective of which domain of software engineering you want to work on, Python is a great skill set to have. And I have put a lot of efforts to make this course extremely engaging and beginner friendly while not compromising on the depth of the concepts covered. I really hope you will enjoy watching these tutorials. Now let me walk you through the course website from where you can access the resources like lecture material and code snippets used in the tutorials. Firstly, you can open the website codelogitsacademy.com. I'll also put the website link in the description of this video. Now here you can open the Python course by clicking this tab, Python course. Now it opens the home page of this Python course. And the whole course is divided into multiple parts. At the time of this recording, there are only four parts, but more tutorials are going to be added. Now in this home page of this course, you can find the list of tutorials present in each part. You might see much bigger list as more tutorials are going to be added. Now to access the resources, you can go to the respective part by clicking one of these links. Let's say you want to access lecture material and code snippets for the tutorials in Python operators. You can go to this part three Python operators. Now you can see the list of all the tutorials which are in this part, right? And for each of the tutorials, the code snippet which is used in the lecture is provided. 
and you can access it by expanding this from here you can copy the code i highly recommend you to copy the code and run it in your own machine so play around the code and try to analyze every line of code as we are trying to build foundations it's very important that you understand the essence of each line of code we write now we can click this again to close similarly we can access the code snippets in all other tutorials as well in this way now if you go to the top you can access the lecture material for all the tutorials in this part using this link so let me open the lecture material and show you so this is the lecture material that is used in the tutorials you can access all of it here in the same way you can access the code snippets and lecture materials of other parts as well let's say you want to go to this part 2 objects variables and data types you can click this and here you can access the lecture material for all these tutorials and for each tutorial code snippet is provided the reason for providing lecture material is i strongly believe in order to retain the concepts for longer period it is important to revise the concepts so whenever you want to revise the concepts you don't need to go through all the video tutorials again you can simply skim through the lecture material and if required you can choose to watch the lecture video again also the lecture video for each tutorial is provided in the website as well but you can watch all the video lectures directly on youtube as well but just in case if you are on website you can quickly access the lecture video directly from here all right and the website also has dark mode you can toggle to dark mode by clicking this icon so in case you prefer dark mode you can use it if you don't want you can toggle it back to light mode that's all for this introduction video and i really hope you will enjoy this course so without any further ado let's get started i'll see you in the next video